Greetings, traveler. Sorry, deck tracker. Anything is possible. Who knows? You might even win. I think Weaver is now a pickup, right? Just because you can hit Rewinder on two. They took Malganus from tier five to three, or was it five to four to three to two? <laughs> They're like, okay, what does it take for you guys to play Wrath Weaver? Do we need to put it on tier two? Because we're gonna put it on tier two. What about tier one? Do you want it on tier one? Huh? Do you want to just roll into Wrath Weaver Malganus? That's funny when you think about it. Uh. Keep it real. Yeah, well, well, you know what? We'll even gonna let the Melganis scale every time you play a demon, huh? What about that? <laughs> I I never really thought about it like that. That's funny. You won! Congratulations! Everything goes according to my plan. Yeah, Pink Man is a 1 4 now as well. Boo. Uh, no, Maya Manly. Here he is! So if we think that we beat Cookie here, it's better to roll instead of cycling for 2 2. We're about to have a 3-2, and... Oh, it's now 2-1. Oh, he didn't really get buffed in, right? No. A bit of a nerf. I'm still okay with this and roll. This little guy? Uh, That's a good card. Probably freeze. Right. Extra small Ganis. So yeah, I think you do buy Wrathweaver on one now, just because it's so silly that, you know, this is on tier two. You can just pick it up straight away. Used to be a 1-3? Correct. But I would rather have a 1-3 that gains 2-2 two, two than a 1-4 that gains 2-1. No Might actually go with the attack buff this time around, because of the consumption already. Could also just go bananas for tempo. But I feel like we're gonna have tempo. Because I kinda wanted the tier, but I'm forced to buy now. Well, not forced, but it's good to buy. Everything goes according to my plan. Are demons OP now? Uh, instinctively, no. But I haven't really seen much yet. If you're browsing around in the OP section, you should see some banana guys, a Caligos, but probably not demons. Yeah, I, th I feel like demons are more just early game, good setup, and then you transition out of them. Which is what they've pretty much always been for me, unless I hit double Felbat. But they changed Felbat now. Felbat no longer eats for itself. There's probably some stuff why they nerfed Felbat, right? They saw it in the playtest that they were doing something, and they were like, ooh, this is too good. Maybe especially at lower MMR. It's good to plan ahead. But, uh... I don't see it right now, I'll put it that way. I don't see the the OP angle. Oh, great. They were very strong, so getting a tie is nice. They feel better than Undead. Ooh, I don't know. Alright, well this is pretty sweet. We can buy the Shell Collector, sell it, buy these two, play these two. That's so strong. Library lad and Donnie, thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate it. Golden Rip Snarl. That's so much attack. 
Ugh. They have the counter to our comp here, and it just deals so much damage. Alright. That's just how it is, then. We could have maybe taken zero, but I'm still happy with my decision overall. Golden Rip Snarl is so specific to deal a lot of damage. Also, they got the pirate buffer. And... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Honestly, I might just go to five. Because these are free, right? Yeah, I think I'm just going to do it. This might actually be a demon game. And I sell the keyboard igniter, right? <laughs> That's pretty insane if you find these Falhounds, though. That's so good. Yeah, this was an interesting early game for sure. I do like the turn one Weaver pickup now, with the Rewinder being a card. And then obviously Rewinder allows you to just pick up these Falhounds when you do see them without taking damage, and, and even just getting rewarded for them. It's not just, oh, they're free, it's, oh, they also make me stronger. Alright, looks like we have a very acceptable loss here. Taking 5 to go 5. That's what they call 5 on 5, right? Take 5 to go to 5. Uh. Right. Nalkazar, Mind Muck, we discover our prize. I like coin with Drakari. Like, if you find Drakari, you can copy your coins. Thank you so much. I'm gonna play my turn, and then I'll uh, have a look in just a second. I'm not gonna buy every demon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We might actually be doing the thing here, chat. Looks like we are doing the thing. Do I keep this pair? And just sell out of this? I might. I could roll one more, I guess. Duo on the tick. All right, let's play. Um, let's play demons. Haven't pl haven't really committed to demons, and this seems like a really good lineup. All right, chat. There's no way we're going to. Okay, no problem. Haha, <laughs> I knew we were gonna be fine. I could have sold out of my pair for that, to be honest. This was a little greedy. I could have sold out of my pair for that. Doctor, thank you so much for giving the sub to Delta Shi. Welcome, Delta. And thank you so much, Doctor. Very much appreciated. Right, we killed a Stomper, but it's a little late. We can maybe tie? That's tough. Yeah, Stomper is nasty there. Hey, Blazing. Thank you for the 30 months. Oh, guys. Thanks for all the support. Really, really appreciate it. I am just going to put a Leroy on my board because I've seen how much people have Pepe got into me. <laughs> When I played Leroy, so I'm like, people have forgotten that you can just have Leroy and Queen, right? So I feel like it's still a good card. I will get out of the pair then. And I will taunt it straight away. And now we can roll a bit. Might level next turn. Oh, I need Drakari, right, for end of turn times two. Yeah, Drakari is really good for me. Not sure if this matters. Oh, that's good, right? This buffs demons, right? Yeah. Okay. Another tick. Wee! 
I guess I might hold the Leroy then. That was another uh, Weaver, but I don't think I really have board space. I mean, I could have maybe bought it. Daniel, thank you for the 18. I heard we're all subbing. Uh, this is the subbing moment. Uh, Apple, thank you so much for the sub as well. Welcome, welcome. Very much appreciate it. Weaver isn't a demon. That is true, but I still need to damage myself. So keeping a demon, keeping a weaver on the board doesn't sound bad. What am I really looking for if I'm trying to do this chat? I'm getting the golden tick at the end of next turn. No, I'm getting it now. Okay. I guess I level and Felbet's still okay. Mantids. Just have it ready. I think I am going to prep, though, with, like, putting Leroy's and stuff in my hand, because the way how this works is we're probably going to make a few big units, and then the rest is ready to scam. I'm not sure if I'm keeping the duo. It's probably wrong. Another tick. Okay. If I'm willing to sell the duo and the Felhound, I can buy it. But that seems... Overkill, but floating two gold feels bad as well. I could trade a Leroy technically. Or a Queen. Leroy might outperform Queen right now. Yeah. I do want the tick on the board, I think. I'll just sell the Queen. I don't think I'm freezing this anymore. Yeah, taunted Leroy quite good here. Especially if the shield goes here. Yeah, perfect. Ah, <laughs> oh, Pepega. It's fine, I think. Oh no, wait, that hit might have actually lost me the fight. No, no, no. The rest is too weak. We're fine. We like this for sure. Is it just hold for a triple? It might be. So every time we lose health, the tick procs. Which means playing a demon gives my whole board 3-3. Three, three. Honestly, there's a world where the Leroy does end up going. Is this worth it now? I don't think so. I think Malkazar, right? Like Golden Malkazar, so... I think I might triple the Leroy and put it in my hand then. Because I want the hand space. I think this is out. I played the other Malkazar. You can ditch Weaver and go more Demon. But isn't Weaver giving me the procs here? At the very least, I play these, right? I think this goes before Weaver. I want to end on the Leroy again. Alright, now we can triple that play out. And... We need Weaver for scaling. We don't necessarily need the Weaver for scaling. Because we have the um, Soul Rebinder Malkazars. But it is not bad. It's nice that we buffed the tavern with extra attack as well. It's not been useless. That was a great breakpoint. 33 into 33. I'm still learning this, of course. I'm learning the ways of the demons here. 
<laughs> Goggles is pretty good here. <laughs> but it's hard to refuse Ice Block, so... Oh, we did get a Fall Bat. Okay. This might be the point where the... This might be the breaking point where you now want extra demons on the board. So Ice Block gets cast. Coin gets cast. Triple gets bought. Wait, wait, wait. No, I can't roll right now. That doesn't work. <laughs> Why don't I roll my triple away and then triple it later, five hit? So Urzel doesn't really do that much though, right? Because Urzel doesn't make me take damage. It's really the Wrath Weaver that takes me makes me take damage. So let me just put this down. That's so good. I need to put the Falbeth on the board to buff it. I guess the Leroy is just out, fuck it. I think right now I do buy every demon. This is gonna stay small, I'm, I can cut it later. Can end on a queen if I want to be strong, but it's beast, so I guess I don't care. I should put the taunt down, I guess. It's gonna roll now. Okay. Three three is not for taking damage; it's for playing a demon. After your hero takes damage, give your other demons one one. After your hero takes damage, give your other demons 2-2. Two, two. That looks like 3-3 three, three to me. He's playing banana comp without bananas, guys. What the fuck is this? It's not bad, though. It's got a shitload of damage. But it's not bananas, so... Playing beast without bananas. Take W. Oh, we found Drakari, but it's too late. It's no longer worth making more coins. Yeah, I think I just... Uh, maybe I roll and I don't buy every demon. Right, because I can get a couple of really good demons, the ones that discover. Let's maybe pick up the Leroy or Queen again now. It's so funny that I roll four times, spend zero gold and buff my whole board. It's hilarious to me. Yeah, it's Leroy Queen for that shit, right? Do I fear this person? Five Ellies? I do, kind of. I think I just throw this then. All right, fell bad. Oh no, <laughs> professional freeze. Right. Isn't pink man bad now? Every time I play a demon, my board gets plus three plus three. Theodore, for reference, gave you two two on three units. So how is the pink man bad? Backstage security on the board is another 3-3. Yes, close kill on the board is a divine shield next turn. Which one is better? You survived and I have no idea how. So this is combo beasts, but they could still find bananas. But not if we buy them. <laughs> All right. Sure, sure, the 
Customer's always right. I have my I still like giving this extra damage. Golden Pink Man may have been worth it, yeah. I guess I'm fine just rolling. Swap these around. It would be good for my franchise. Elemental of surprise on Felimental is Perma Divine Shields. True, but I don't have a Felimental. So not that relevant here. So they already have that more end game set up. Wait. Every four turns. That's not end of turn right now. I was like, can I double prizes with this? <laughs> that would have been pretty insane. Probably get to keep this regular tick on the boards. Reborn on the Felbat. Messed up a little bit here, but I can still magnetize. Buying another demon might be better than magnetizing, though. That's probably still better to have it. Hmm. I guess I maybe don't do that. It works, it's end of turn. How is it end of turn? It would've... no, it's it's always start of turn, right? You start your turn and then the price pops up. It's not end of turn. You can magnetize with a full board? Yes, that's a change they made. Which is nice. That's a quality of life upgrade I don't mind at all. This guy forgot the bananas? Yeah, yeah, he played what he got, right? He had, um... He had the stomper and played it. Oh, hey, what's up, Lerinda? Are demons unplayable without a rewinder? Yeah, 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 but it's a tier 2 unit, so you'll get it, pretty much. The only reason I'm playing this is because I, I opened Weaver into Soul Rewinder. But I opened Weaver because Soul Rewinder is a 2-drop now. So I think opening with Weaver is not bad right now. I mean, of it did. Make a friendly minion golden, return it to the hand. Guys, is it ever better to golden the tick than the Felbats? Let's see. I get four procs here. I get four procs. Yeah, I think it's actually better. I have to go a bit faster now. That's good. 
I'll buy the thing already. Just have to roll a bit now, it's fine. Selfless is actually good for me now, right? Yeah. Elemental is also nice. Alright, we eat it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't want it, right? Next turn's all in, so... Next turn's all in. But it's funny. I could have, uh... Could have gone for it. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot I'm that good at the game. I could freeze the Felvet, right? <laughs> That's an issue. So I, I know that I spent a lot of time thinking here, but if I just execute my turn fast, grow, and then still die, that doesn't matter. My opponent is kind of infinite and has two queens or had two queens. So I want to be all in. Probably this turn, because I think the pirates benefit more from extra time than I do. There's no demon I'm playing, so I can roll. I'm not missing stats. This is too good to pass. This is a brand. I can't really play it. I'm going to lose stats then right now. What am I really looking for? Golden Selfless. Leroy Queen. Ha, you go through your so let's roll. I go through my and I love it. Okay. Another taunt. That's not awful. This might give me divine shields. Puffer. It's not better. Gonna randomly taunt shits. Gotta roll, I guess. Oh, buying a demon actually doesn't help me, right? Taunt Selfless is pretty good. Didn't high roll though, unfortunately. Cleave my shield. Mm, that sucks. I have only one really big minion. Easy demons. Let's go. Easy demons. Only 364 health left. All right, interesting.